Hallo, het Will Hello. Van, hello het Will van Delft van de radioprogramma in Spain, Europe. How are you? How are you? How are you with, with, uh, in Australia? What is this, what is local time uh, by you? It's uh, just after 6.30 p.m. 6.30 p.m. Is it the same time than Sydney? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, the reason that we invited you for this uh, conversation this morning is the new single, Praise the Lord. Yes, yes. That's, that's a song that was written about uh, sort of about my younger life. It's, it's, it's a beautiful little song. I just played before the conversation another song from you, What I Want. Yes, well, that is what I want. <laughs> it's, 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 no, they're... they're yeah, yeah, tell, yeah, tell us. Yes, no, it, that was just a bit of a fun song that was written for me by a songwriter in Australia. And she wrote Praise the Lord about my, uh, you know, my growing up. And then she also wrote another song on that same CD called A Million Stars at Blackbutt. And Blackbutt is the town where I live. And... So and then this "What I Want" is just a fun, a fun song that that she decided to write for me. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, uh, a moment for the listeners. You're coming from Sydney, but you live now in Blackbird in Queensland. Yes, that's about a thousand kilometres north of Sydney, yeah. in another state. Yeah. Your music has a very special style. Your 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 country music is is your favorite music, or not? Yes, yes, it is. Why? Why? Uh, I I just I just like um, I, I mean I love the older style of country music, and it it just it just resonates with me, and you know I, I just enjoy doing it. Who, 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 who wrote the, the text of the song from Praise the Lord? Uh, it was a lady called Shazza Lee from Australia. Uh, and Tamworth is uh, the, the country music capital in Australia. And like Nashville in America, Tamworth is, to us, the country music capital. And she's written oh, over 300 songs that have been recorded by herself and different artists. Yes. And I was very fortunate to meet her and then she wrote those three songs for me, which is on the CD. And then the other songs that I've recorded are, are cover songs. Yeah. I, I, I saw it this morning on your website, uh, in your... Uh, uh, your music, you're starting very early. I have the, the name of the uh, agent Ellie Lavelle. That's right, yes. Do you know Ellie? No, I tell about it. No? Uh, well, Ellie, yeah, when yeah. I first started, I, I um, had a, a gentleman that would, would write the music in my key in those days. It wasn't as, as advanced as it is now. Um, and he said, I know I want you to go in this talent quest. And so I'd only had a couple of songs and I went in the talent quest and Ellie was there. And then from there, I didn't win the talent quest. I think I came second. But from there, she booked me into venues to do shows. So I had to very quickly get a lot of songs together uh, and then I worked with different v bands in different venues yeah. to do that. But I, yeah. but your first sorry. your first solo p performance on stage was with Carol Rogers. Is that all right? That's that's right. Yes. Um, so that was my stage name, and I continued as Carol Rogers. And my family. Uh, I come from a circus and a musical background. The, we had uh, my aunt, well, my father's side came from Germany, 
and they were minstrels that actually played on the gold mines um, in Australia because there was a lot of people came out from overseas when gold was discovered and they realised they didn't want to do that. They would entertain. So that's sort of part of my history. But, um, but you know, not all my family are musical, but my dad was very musical and my mother also played violin. So um, I've sort of picked it up from there. Then I see the years of 1996, 1971, there are two tours yes. of Vietnam. That's correct, yes. There were an agent uh, or an agency in, in Sydney who put groups together and we were sent over to Vietnam to play to the American forces. Um, and because we were playing to the Americans, we were there the first time for four months. I came home for four months and then I joined another They put me with another group and we went back for another five months and that finished in 1971. So, and then for a long time I I didn't sing at all. I'd sort of lost my confidence and I've only just now picked it back up again. Yeah. And I'm, I'm going it with all my might. <laughs> <laughs> and I see Also, uh, the band The Shilohs with Tommy Emeril and Phil Emeril. That's right. No. Yes, they were only youngsters at the time. Well, you know I'm only 21 now. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't, don't subtract, don't subtract or do any of that to figure out. No, I think I started when I was two. No, just kidding. Um No, Tommy and Phil were in a band that I was in and we toured around. Uh, we did Sydney in New South Wales and then we went to Queensland, which is a state north of Sydney, uh, and we toured there for quite some time. And then as groups do, you, you break up, not for any particular reason, it was just, you know, some one drummer was married he wanted to go back and not travel so much so and then you just move on from there okay uh, for, for all the listeners uh, tell about the song praise the lord well praise the lord was written uh, i was talking to shazza who wrote the song about she was just getting to know me and i just told her about how my parents separated when i was young and how it was hard in those days because you didn't have uh, any help. We had family that helped, but my mother had four children and uh, we've all come through it. We've all benefited, I guess, from the hardship when, you're, when you grow up and um, she's very close to the church and sort of that's come through us as well. So um, it, it's just... Um, And, and I love it, even though when my mother first heard the song, she said, you never starved, did you? <laughs> like, we had enough food. And I said, no, Mum, it's just part of, it just rhymes in the song. It's all good. But my mother is still alive. She's 95, going on 96. And, um, you know, just uh, an amazing lady, a very amazing lady. <laughs> What are, what are the more plans for the rest of this year? Well, the COVID-19 has stopped a lot, um, but I am going back um, to record just one song this year. I haven't decided what it'll be. Um, and I do want to start to travel and tour. And because I've been nominated for the Red Carpet Awards in Holland, I'm really crossing the fingers that I can fly out of Australia for that. Or I, I think I can fly out, but whether I can fly back in again, that's what I have to check. But I'd love to get over there and meet people that I've spoken to, you know, like yourself and all that sort of thing. It'll be nice to sort of tour around a little bit over there. But that sort of, if, if the borders are open and if I'm allowed to travel. Otherwise, it'll be just traveling in Australia and trying to get a bit more momentum back up since everybody's been locked down. 
Yeah. You, 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 you're living in Queensland. You have also the, uh, a lockdown. Mm -hmm. You have uh, also a lockdown there or not? Uh, well, not at the moment. It was we were in lockdown, but there's a, a southern state that's allowed to come across. There is a, another state further down that has had quite a few cases of COVID, and they are locked down, but not not um, in my state. So we can still travel, and my state's very big. Um, if people know Australia, it's up the pointy end on the east coast. Um, so we've got uh, well over a thousand kilometres we can travel because Australia is quite big. Uh, and that's where we plan to just get out on the road and, and do some shows. Um, but it is, with everything still, with, with people restrictions, it is still a bit hard. Okay. Uh, 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 for the listeners, uh, they can uh, they find more information about you on your beautiful website www.carolcheney.com. Yes. That's it, yes, and they can contact me through there or even on Facebook under Carol Cheney. Um, in Australia and uh, you can sort of keep up with what I'm doing there. I try and get on the website and update it, but I've I've been a little bit uh, naughty and haven't kept up to date with that. But, you know, people can certainly have a look and see what I've been up to. Yeah. It's now it's now winter time in Australia. Yes, it is. Um, and it's where we are. It's not like winter time over in your area I don't know whether you get minus degrees we don't really get that where we are we get down to about zero or one but then in the days we get you know up to about 19 degrees so it's it's um, quite pleasant in the daytime um, and I, I don't mind the cold actually I'd rather the cold than the hot but okay. uh, where we are in Queensland it's called the sunny state so a lot of Southerners come up because it's nice and warm up here. Okay. So I it's a bit like Florida in America, yes. Okay. I will to in the first place thank you for the conversation on, on this morning here alive in the program in, in Europe. Um, a final word from you to all the listeners and I go play the single Praise the Lord. Uh, well, I, thank you for listening. I hope you've enjoyed my little part of the, the show this morning. And um, thank you very much for listening. And thank you, Will, for, for you know, phoning me and having this, this interview. That would be absolutely fabulous. Thank you. Okay, you have a nice day of a nice evening. He is this morning, but you is the evening now in this moment. Yes, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> you have a nice thank evening. Thank you so much and hope, yeah. hope we can speak soon. <laughs> you have a okay, nice, a nice evening. Thank, thank you. you so much. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Good Bye. night. Good night, everybody. Bye.